What are you doing at my desk? Oh, is this still your desk? You've decided to rejoin us? I was gone for two days. Did I miss something? How about the part where I managed to secure our latest high-profile client by myself? Ah, uh, yes, I heard. Congratulations. Does this mean you're going to apologize for what you said earlier? Are you going to apologize for getting overly involved in Harriet's life? Nope. But I have a present for you. These are all of the contracts and paperwork for our new client. I figured you'd enjoy it. You being the king of paperwork and all. Thanks. Well, I'll let you get to it. You've got a lot of catching up to do. The secret to achieving excellence in lifestyle management is subtlety. Anyone can lead a horse to water, but it takes a master to help the horse realize that it's thirsty and let it walk to water on its own. Or in this case, introduces two thirsty horses and let them find water together. <laughs> Harriet, what's on your schedule after lunch? Um, I was gonna put in your expense reports and then update these Elton candidate profiles and the print- Table it, I have something much more important for you to do. What? Uh, I mean, yes, anything. Senator Elton has been out of the dating pool for too long. I can't throw him back into the waters unprepared. That would be terrible. So when he gets in after lunch, you're gonna be his practice date. Me? Are you sure? I mean, shouldn't you? I can't observe and guide him if I'm a participant, right? Oh, of course not. So study up, and when he gets here, let me sell him on the plan. Male ego, you know. Right, you always know what to do. <laughs> you sure you don't mind? Why would I? She's a very sweet girl. And truth be told, it's been a while since I was on a first date myself. Nothing wrong with the trial run. So few people acknowledge that a first date is like a job interview. Or giving a speech. Only amateurs going unprepared. That's the smartest thing I've heard in weeks. <laughs> you sure you'd never consider being a political consultant? No. No, too much debating and boring stuff. And debating about boring stuff. <laughs> no rebuttal for that. Now, you just stay right here, and I will be back with Harriet like that. Now, most people think a first date is about making a good first impression, but that's not true. It's not? No! An impression is the work of an instant. The date is when you really begin to know each other, discover their personality, and share yours. The first date is when you create a mental likeness of your potential partner and paint a portrait of yourself in their mind's eye. That seems very complicated. Just remember pars. Pay attention, remain sincere. Now, I will be right over there if you need me. So first celery soda, and now it turns out we both like coffee. What are the odds? Maybe Martin would have been able to catch him. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm sure the odds are pretty long that two people like beverages. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you said you started drinking celery soda in college? My roommate drank it, and I poked fun at him until he threw down the gauntlet and dared me to try some. And then you had to admit he was right. Oh, I try to never admit my own faults. It's political suicide. But you did it anyways, because it was the right thing to do. He was also my only chance at another can. My celery soda dealer, if you will. Ever since then, I've just gone deeper and deeper into the dark underworld of weird foods. Weirder than celery soda? So much weirder. My fridge at home is full of cacao nibs, boutique hot sauces, and Icelandic yogurt. Not together, of course. Icelandic yogurt? You've never had it? Oh, you have to try it. It's more than yogurt. It predates the written word. I had no idea Icelanders were such yogurt aficionados. Yeah, they're obsessed. It wouldn't surprise me if they were writing a musical about it as we speak. No, but I would totally go see that. <laughs> you must really like musicals then. Very. I like anything where people randomly burst out into song. A carousel, Legally Blonde, Assassins. Oh, I love it all. I even used to sing and play the ukulele in college. I bet you were very good. Oh no, not really. Well, hopefully I'll get to hear you sing someday. So, did your friend ever forgive you for teasing him about his beverage choices? No, no, no. He lords it over me every chance he gets. Oh, see, this is a text from him crowing about how he'll always have something to bribe me with, and this is the picture I sent back of me gesturing something that is not particularly good politics. Your smartwatch has texts and photos. Takes pictures, too. Cheese. That's so cool. I look weird. You look beautiful. So, how'd we do? You tell me. James, what is the mental portrait that you've painted of Harriet? She's very sweet and sincere, and I'd really like to hear her sing. 
You've been paying attention to your date. Well done. And Harriet, what is your mental likeness of James now? Well, he's interesting, well-spoken, very engaging. And would you go on a date with him again? Hypothetically, of course. Um, I guess I would. <laughs> oh, I think that's my phone. Do you need me for anything? No, no, thank you, Harriet. And thank you for the date. <laughs> well, it seems you passed the test, Senator. I had a good partner and an excellent instructor. <laughs> well, you remained open, positive, and sincere. Now I see how you won the election. I knew it was a good idea to contact you. <laughs> Two thirsty horses, drinking celery soda and listening to show tunes. <laughs> I'd say phase one of Senator Elton's future is complete. Now it's on to phase two. Phase two? Something dangerous. If by dangerous you mean magical, then yes it is. Were you spying on me again? No, I just wanted to let you know that I got to meet our esteemed state Senator Elton. And? He's very excited. Of course he is. And he's very excited to be working with you. Okay, that's nice. That's it? No gloating? I don't gloat until I get the job done and there's still a lot of work to do. I do take my job very seriously, Mr. Knightley. I know you do, Emma. I would never be your business partner if you didn't. Oh. So, is there anything else you need? No. Are we good? We're fine. Fine? Fine. 